Roach Abbey was founded in 1147 by a Cistercian Brotherhood who had travelled down from Newminster Abbey in Northumberland. Although they arrived in the valley in 1140, for several years they lived without a proper dwelling until the local lords offered to build them the abbey. Popular folklore has it that the vision of a crucifix appeared on a certain rock close by and inspired the monks to settle there. Today it is said that it must be deeply buried within the woodland which surrounds the ruins but is, up until today is yet is unfound. It has been said that no dead were ever buried at Roach Abbey, however there is a small number of graves belonging to local landowners who gave money to the Abbey in their lifetime on the condition that after their deaths the monk would pray for their souls. Towards the far end of the Abbey itself lies a small stone coffin without a lid. It is said that if one is to stare for it long enough at the head of the coffin then a face will appear although nobody is sure of its origin. Why the coffin was never used still remains a mystery. There are stories from local people who say that they have seen a spectre of a grey lady standing at one of the windows staring out onto the grounds. The sound of a wailing child is said to be heard coming from one of the upper rooms, although on investigation the crying stops and the room is empty. Also reportings of a ghost of a maid disappearing up a flight of stairs. It is said that in the 18th century a maid servant had found herself pregnant and shortly afterwards her child was born she killed the baby before hanging herself in the attic. On New Year's morning in 1991 four local people reported seeing the spectre of a figure clad in white robes heading across the grass behind the gatehouse towards them. The Cistercian order who founded the monastery did indeed wear white robes all year round having no change of clothes or extra garments throughout the season. The face of the spectre was not visible and it appeared to be gliding at great speed in their direction, flowing with an unearthly greyish light. The area of grass it walked over was once the site of the wooden buildings which temporarily housed the monks and their abbey guests until the stone structure was built. Right up until this day, reported sightings of a ghostly monk have been recorded. <laughs>